We're going to do an experiment to determine Faraday's constant by electrolyzing an aqueous solution of sodium carbonate. We have a solution of one molar sodium carbonate in the beaker. We're going to attach leads to the electrodes. The black lead will be the cathode. We're going to reduce water and produce hydrogen gas. The red lead is going to be the anode. We're going to oxidize water to produce oxygen gas. We're going to collect the hydrogen gas in a gas collection tube by displacement of the solution. The power supply will provide us a constant current. We're going to run the electrolysis for a known period of time. We're going to record the time with a stopwatch. We're going to turn on the power. We can see the oxygen gas being produced at the red electrode, the anode, and hydrogen gas being produced at the black electrode, the cathode. When volume gets down to about 47 milliliters, we'll stop the current and we'll stop the time. Record the time and convert it to seconds. We'll wait for a minute or so for the tiny hydrogen bubbles to collect. We're going to adjust the height of the tube and adjust the liquid level if possible so that the liquid level inside the tube and outside the tube are the same. The total pressure inside the tube is equal to the barometric pressure. If you're not able to equalize the two liquid levels, you should come in with a ruler and carefully measure the height difference between the liquid in the beaker and the liquid in the tube. You should measure that in millimeters. We use the data collected to calculate the grams and moles of hydrogen produced and the value of the Faraday.